Hello, welcome to Rear Facing Toddlers. This is the MacSafe Pro, the new rear facing seat from Britex Roma. This seat meets the R129 regulation and it rear faces up to 125 centimeters or 36 kilos. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through its features and show you how to install it. All belt fitted car seats up to 1m25 have tether straps. So the first thing you, can, you need to do before you can install the seat itself is attach those straps to the runner rails of the car. And you do that by sliding the front seat all the way forward, which I've already done. And then you pass one of the ends of the strap has a ring, the other one doesn't. You get the end without the ring and pass it under the rail, push it through until it comes up and then pull it through and as far back as it can go. And that's the second one, pull that one back and then make it as short as possible. And then, I don't know if the camera picks this up, but there are stitches all the way along this strap and in between two stitches, between every two stitches, there is a double layer that you pass the ring through and try to make the strap as short as possible. Pass the ring through the double layer in the strap and pull it tight and then pull it back. You have two options for installation with this seat. The seat has to touch the backrest of the vehicle, so you can install it like this for children up to about three or four years old, but once they're a little bit taller, they're going to want more leg room. And for that, the MagSafe Pro comes with this spacer, a foam block that fits between the seat and the vehicle's backrest to create an extra eight centimeters of leg room. And you fit it by, just turn the seat sideways and put the spacer on the front of the seat like this, it just slots in and then when you reposition the seat you've got more leg room for a bigger child. When you install the seat you need to take the insert out because the seat belt goes under the fabrics so lengthen the straps a little bit, undo the buckle and remove the baby insert. And then you need to make sure that the headrest is in its highest position. And the reason for that is there is a flap of black plastic here that covers this gray lever and that lever needs to come up. So that plastic needs to be moved out of the way. You do that by sliding the headrest up. The headrest adjustment mechanism is on the back of the seat and you simply pull out this little lip here in the middle, slide the headrest up or down to the desired position. You then move the fabric cover out of the way and open this lever and this green part here is where the seat belt lies. You then need to pull out the seat belt, give yourself enough length and pass the buckle through this hole here that's got a bit of green on it and pull it through to the inside of the seat. Then make sure the seat belt lies on the green indicators inside the seat itself underneath that green tensioner and pass it back out through the hole on this side and then it goes straight into the buckle. You then need to pull all the slack out of the seat belt by pulling the diagonal belt up, which removes the slack from the lap belt. So you push the seat down into the car, pull the belt really tight, and then you hold the belt really tight in that hand, and with the other hand, you pull it through here whilst maintaining the tension the whole time. And then you need to lock the seat belt into place by engaging the click tight lever. And you do that by pulling it up and pushing it down bottom first, and then the top clicks down here and the seat belt is now really secure. And then you just need to fold the fabric parts back down, this one down here, this flap over here, the shoulder straps come back through the holes at the top of that flap, and that's the seat put back together, and now I'm going to go down there to attach the tether straps. Car seats like these all have two tether straps, one on the side of the door and one on the side of the middle of the car. When I install these seats, I always do the middle one first because I can reach round down to the bottom. And if I do this one first, I wouldn't be able to reach that one. You can walk around to the other side of the car if you find it easier, but I find it easier just to go like this. So I go down here, grab the strap. This one has a button that you need to press. Pull the strap out and hook it onto the ring on the tether strap that I installed earlier and then it retracts back in by itself. And then you repeat it on the other side. You just press the button on the tether, hold that and pull the tether strap out and then attach the hook to this ring. 
And then the tether strap, I'll go quiet now so you can hear it retracting. And that locks the strap. And you can then tighten the straps a little bit more by just pushing down on the seat gently just to retract them in a little bit further and lock them into place. And the final step is the support leg. You push it out as far as these retaining straps on the back will allow, then pinch these two buttons together. The leg will drop down to the floor and lock into place when the buttons pop back out. This car seat could be used from 61 to 125 centimetres, which is roughly six months to seven years. This doll represents a baby of about 10 to 12 months. So I'm going to first of all show you how to set the car seat up for a smaller baby. For younger babies, this car seat comes with a wedge insert cushion that is suitable for babies who measure between 61 and 87 centimetres, and that is roughly six to 18 months. The cushion simply sits loose in the car seat. All you need to do is pass the buckle through this hole and then just make sure that the straps are in the gaps here at the side. Lower the headrest down and then it's ready for my baby. I always find the easiest way to put a baby or a small child in a car seat is to have them with their back against your chest and then you post them in feet first and then turn them around like this. So make sure he's sitting nicely with his back against the back of the seat. Put his arms under the straps. So the shoulder straps need to be level with the shoulders or just below, which they are. And then you get the buckle tongues, which comes in two pieces. They go together like this. And then this little square goes into the buckle like this. Make sure it clicks. Then you pull the straps up through the buckle that removes all the slack from the hips and then you pull this strap make sure the shoulder pads are high up on the shoulders touching the sides of the neck keep pulling until the straps are really tight to take the baby out of the car seat you need to first of all loosen the harness and you do that by putting your finger on this flat metal button in here hold it maybe your thumb is easier push it down and hold it and then with your one finger on the other hand, you go behind both straps and pull the straps away from the baby's shoulders to lengthen them. You then undo the buckle, open the straps, take the arms out and lift the baby out of the car seat. To use this car seat for an older child, between about two and seven years old, you don't need the insert. So you just simply remove it by taking it out, passing the buckle through the hole, and then you need to raise the headrest to make it fit a larger child. This doll is 105 centimeters tall, which is roughly the size of a four-year-old. So to put him in the car seat, you do exactly the same thing. Feet first, swivel him round, place him in the seat, and then put, it, put the straps on his shoulders, Make sure that they're right, at the right height, which I don't think they are. They're a little bit high, so I'm just going to take the headrest down one click and then do up the buckle. Put the two parts together just like before. Click them into the buckle. Pull the straps up to remove the hip slack. Hold them together. Oh, his face has got wet from the rain. And pull the straps tight. Move the shoulder pads or the chest pads down. Give it one extra tug just to make sure it's nice and tight. And there he is. So that is how you install and use the new Britax Roma MagSafe Pro car seat. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.